crew was good. I was talking to my man Johnny Be Good in the inbox, right? So this is what he says to me, and it, and it kills me. He says, hey, people don't want to learn sound design. Like, people don't want to learn programming. Now, he's not saying he doesn't want to learn that. And I get that some people don't want to learn that. They want instant gratification. They want this on a button press. Oh, let me turn it knob. Oh, preset. Uh. That's what you. That's what most of you want. You just want to go instant preset. I understand your point of view, and I understand you. Your instant gratification. That's what Instagram should be called. Instant gratification. Cause, but when you get instant gratification, you are often disappointed. And you will often become bored with that because it's so easy to achieve. It's like, oh, I could do this so easy, 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 easy. You have to learn to understand something. If you are a sound designer, a sound designer does not look for instant gratification. A sound designer designs and contours the sound. They learn the behavior of stuff. Or they imitate things, or they—that's why it's a synthesizer. A synthesizer was meant to imitate acoustic sounds and or other synthesizers. That's what they're notorious for. This one is notorious for a lot these days, huh? <laughs> Cause it's about bad, right? All right. Now precursors. That's why I want to get to. Yeah. Well. Precursors are your presets. You're set and forget. I have EPs on the call up. <clears throat> I don't have to do anything. All I do is switch the resonator. I know that I use noise and I need, and I use the resonator. I sound the noise through that. See. Because that's the resonator, oscillator one, filter FM source, oscillator one. Oscillator one is what? A resonator. It's a sine shape resonator and has zero volume. As I turn it down, turn it up. See, if you're a true sound designer, you'll understand why I do this precursor stuff. Like, real sound designers can appreciate the stuff that I do. You people that know nothing of synthesis and just, oh, oh, oh you, you learn a couple things about the blow field and you think you know all and you're the be-all, end-all of the box. It's like, no, stop. And then you think sample sets and all these pre, uh, presets are be-all, end-all. You are dependent upon what you are given. You're not being dependent on the system that you're given, and you're not depending on your own imagination and creativity. I'm going to bone dust you unappreciative thumbs down and then trolls. I'm going to bone dust you until there is nothing left and then blow you off the table like these ashes. You know what I mean? Just like that. You know what I mean? Because it's the truth. And anyone who is engaged in a synthesizer, and even Mr. Mark Pickett will tell you I'm right. He's not even going to argue with this. And none of my teachers will. No one who is really into sound design or synthesizer is going to argue. Alright? Lost my breath for a second. I thought I was about to sneeze. <laughs> but, uh, for real. No one's going to argue with me. That's truly into this. The only people that are going to argue is you people that... You just want instant, oh, let me, let me get the wave, oh, it's done, okay, yeah. and then just, it there, I'll turn it off, oh, ooh. you're just like a little ass kid for the first time to ever touch grass, oh, ooh. the sensation of, of gratification or whatever, it's like, you're like, the, that's, that's what you guys are like, man, real shit, because if you, <laughs> like, why do you even have a synthesizer if you don't want to learn to program it or get into the in intricacies of it, I'm not coming, uh, crazy, at anyone's throat. I'm just telling you the truth. If you don't like it, you know, drop location. Yeah, I mean, I'll drop like my location. You can just pull up. I don't really care. It's the truth. <laughs> so, you know, we can talk it out or duke it out. It's up to you. But to anybody that's, that's hating, you know, on anyone who actually programs a synthesizer or gets into sound design, you just need to go get an arranger keyboard, man. 
Because guess what? I don't need the arranger keyboard. I am the arrangement, man. I am the kit. I depend on my imagination and myself. Maybe you should learn to do the same thing and stop hating. You know what I mean? Look, more precursors. Ooh, a flute. Noise flute. Mess with the LFO a little bit. We know the flutes are mono, so I should only be playing one note at a time. I know that. Easy. Do a wave table too. Legit. Cause that's resonant too. You gotta turn it up to two though. Noise is more natural. Let's try an oboe. Ring mod and FM. See that choir off? Actually, learn the behavior of some instruments or how sound behaves. You know, learn learn how it, the dynamics of this stuff, and you could be a great sound designer yourself. It just takes time. I understand we all don't have all the time in the world, and none of us do. However, what you put your essence into, and you know, it's like watering a plant and giving it light. It will grow, right? Your brain is the same way. And anytime you get an interpersonal relationship with any type of equipment that you have, <clears throat> you can learn it efficiently. Instead of buying the next piece of gear and all this, trying to have the studio filled up with six, seven hundred keyboards and shit. That's why you don't learn shit. How are you going to split yourself amongst all that equipment? Pick one up, master it, and move on to the next. I'll be seeing the Iridium soon enough, and so will you guys. I'll catch you on the flip.